Hello friends welcome back with new video. Deep below the Indian Ocean, there's a giant gravity hole over 1 million square miles in size, a depression in the Earth's crust that has puzzled scientists for decades. While it's technically not a conventional hole, geophysicists have used the term to denote a concentrated area where the effects of Earth's gravity are far lower than average. Since our planet is far from a perfect sphere, its poles are flat, while there are bulges lining its equator. The gravitational pull varies depending on location. Scientists have mapped these effects to create the Earth's geoid, as Scientific American explains, a potato-shaped map that visually exaggerates these gravitational dips and valleys. One dip in particular, dubbed the Indian Ocean Geoid Low, has caught the attention of researchers ever since its first discovery back in 1948. In a new study published in Geophysical Research Letters, Indian Institute of Science in the dip, finding that the sea level of the surrounding ocean is almost 350 feet lower than the global average. After running various computer models of how the region changed over the last 140 million years, the team concluded that the IOGL may have been the result of the African blob, a huge mass in the Earth's mantle lurking more than 600 miles under Africa, being pushed underneath the Indian Ocean. Fascinatingly, Geologists believe this blob was formed by the remnants of the seafloor of an ancient ocean called the Tethys Ocean that sat between two supercontinents called Laurasia and Gondwana, more than 200 million years ago. Later, the Indian Ocean was created roughly 120 million years ago as Gondwana moved north into this ancient ocean. This discovery provides a fascinating peek into our planet's ancient and sometimes counterintuitive geological evolution. It also highlights how much we still have to learn about our planet and its history. Earth's gravity varies depending on location because the distribution of mass within the planet is not uniform. Gravity is proportional to mass, so the shape of the planet's gravitational field depends on the distribution of mass within it. This means that different regions exert a different gravitational pull depending on the mass of Earth's crust, mantle, and core beneath them. Additionally, Earth is not a perfect sphere, but rather it is flatter around both the north and south poles and bulges out near the equator. This also contributes to variations in Earth's gravity. Thanks for watching the video.